So we're here with Jake Chant, River Otter Beaver Trail Officer. And Jake, can you tell me, we're in a captive beaver trial in the west of Devon. How many beavers would we have in this three hectare site? Uh, we think in this three hectare site, we've got um, this one family of beavers. So we'll have um, the adult pair of beavers and potentially kits from two years. So maximum beavers at this site, probably around nine or 10. And what would a beaver be doing at this point of the year? It's, it's mid-November now, isn't it? Yep, it's mid-November, so um, the beavers will be um, changing what they eat at this time of year. Um, in the summer months, they'll have been feeding on soft vegetation, on grasses and sedges and rushes. Um, at this time of year, their diet switches over to a more woody material, so they're feeding on the willow and the birch at this site in particular. And at this time of year, the beavers here are beginning to cache some of that material, so they've got a good food source over winter. And OK, and as we've walked around today, I mean, you, people can probably hear the, the, the small stream running through the site. There's lots of beaver ponds, beaver created ponds with their dams. But I've also noticed some scientific equipment. So what are, we kind, what are the kinds of things we're trying to measure here? At this site, we're really interested in seeing how the beavers um, can impact on the flow at the site. Um, so Exeter University um, have some uh, measuring equipment um, just next to us here um, where we can record the amount of water that flows into the site and the amount of water that flows out of the site and we can see how that changes after large rainfall events and how the beaver dams can slow down the flow of water. Um, if they can slow down the flow of water, what's, what's the potential impact? What, well, I mean, what good is that apart from just well, a nice thing to observe? Uh, some people are really excited about how beavers can um, change the top of catchments to hold water back at the top of the catchment and that could have really um, significant benefits to, to villages and towns that suffer from flooding um, if you had lots of beavers at the top of the catchment you can hold water back like a sponge um, so there's less water after serious rainfall events flowing through um, pinch points in catchments um, downstream